Good evening. Today, the first reading makes it clear what we should pray for. Letter to the Thessalonians. First, while we are on, on this earth, that God, our God, may make us worthy of His calling. He is calling us. And then, why is He calling us? To bring powerfully, bring to fulfillment every good purpose and every effort of faith. And let us also pray that in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, God may be glorified in us in accord with the grace of our God and Lord Jesus Christ. That's why we are here on this earth. And what did we pray in the responsorial psalm? Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. That is our mission. Matthew 28. Go into the whole world. Proclaim the good news to every creature, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Proclaim God's word. Last Saturday, I concelebrated at the ordination of 14 SVD deacons. 14! That's already very many nowadays because we we only will have one or two in Europe, one or two in the United States. We have 14. But Indonesia, 28 new SBDs. They will be deacons for several months. Then they will be ordained priests. What I would like to share with you today is what the bishop tells the deacons. At the moment, before the moment of ordination, they are advised to live what you believe, believe what you proclaim, and practice what you preach. Practice what you preach. So we know what to preach about. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Go into the whole world baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit, proclaim the good news to all the nations. But we have, should practice what we proclaim. We should practice what we, we preach so that we will not be like the Pharisees in the Gospel today. They were rebuked. Hypocrites. Blind guides, blind fools, blind ones. Let us try our best in the face of the hardness of our hearts, in the face of original sin that makes us refuse to face the truth very often. Let us pray that we will be able to proclaim God's word and practice what we proclaim. Bishop Rinaldo Evangelista, the ordaining prelate, told the deacons the story of St. Francis of Assisi. He was a rich man, renounced everything, turned his back. He was a man of the world, loved very nice clothes and very nice food, then he was imprisoned in Perugia, like St. Ignatius of Loyola, complete change, metanoia, conversion. He renounced everything. So he dressed in sackcloth. Not even sandals. Nagsa sandals na mga Franciscans ngayon. Pero during the time, the first community of monks Friars, barefoot, dressed in sackcloth. So he told the friars, proclaim God's kingdom 
And if necessary, use words. Lalim niya. Proclaim God's kingdom and if necessary, use words. Kaya sabi ni Bishop Evangelista, a deacon should be known. Makikita sa buhay niya ang kabanalan, ang paglilingkod, ang pagbibigay ng patutuo. Holiness, service, witnessing. So once, St. Francis of Assisi told the friars, let us go and proclaim the kingdom to the city. So they walk barefoot, sacklo, without saying anything, they came back. And when they went back to their monastery, one of the monks told St. Francis, I thought we were going to proclaim God's kingdom. And St. Francis said, we already did. Action speaks louder than words. Being dressed in sackcloth, going barefoot on the stones, cobblestones of Assisi, was the best way to proclaim God's word. Otherwise, words will have no fruit without holiness, without service, without witnessing. That is also what we should do. By our lives, they will know that we are Christians. My father, Bataan Veteran, was a man of few words, although he could join the politicians and give very nice discourses during election time. But at home, he was, he was not very talkative. Just kept on, kept on reading. So once, my mother, it was not true, suspected that I was already smoking. So my father told me, do not smoke. And my mother told him, how can you tell him not to smoke when your fingers have become brown smoking cigarettes? From the time on, my father never touched a cigarette again. More effective than telling me 100 times not to, not to smoke. He stopped completely. And he did not tell me, you have to read books, you have to study. Because that's what he did. If the, he is not playing chess, of course, for hours. He was reading there. And when I entered the seminary, I brought home a summary of St. Thomas Aquinas Summa Theologia Theolog in booklet form, not in just very thick volume. My father read it all to gain a deeper understanding of our faith without telling me anything. Proclaim the good news, proclaim God's kingdom, and if necessary, use words. So kayong mga magulang, kayong mga teachers, kayong nasa simbahan, proclaim God's kingdom, and if necessary, use words. Let them know that you are Christ's disciples by your life. Huwag kang parang parisi na magsabi-sabing, oh, kayong mga katulong, sama kayo dito. Rosary tayo dahil queenship of Mary ngayon. Pagkatapos, kamali lang ng kaunti, sinabon mo na. Pag nagmura ka, talo pa ang lapid chicharon. Eh, kapareho ka lang ng mga blind guides at saka hypocrites. Live out your faith. That is our challenge, especially in these times. Very difficult to live out our faith with all the difficulties that the world is experiencing. But let us pray to Mary, Queen of Heaven and Earth, to help us. Pray that our God may make us worthy of His calling and powerfully bring to fulfillment every good purpose and every effort of faith that the name of our Lord Jesus Christ may be glorified in us in accord 
with the grace of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, her Son.